I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And, and this, this is Maggie, Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we're in Harlingen, Texas, and we are staying at Encore's Sunshine RV Resort. And this park actually has a couple of sections. The main part that we're gonna show you for the amenities, and then the lakeside park, where most, from what we can see, most of the transient RVers like ourselves end up. So come along with us, we'll give you a tour of the first side, the main side, and then the lake side. If you're a Thousand Trails or Encore member, that's probably where you're going to be staying too. Thanks. Now we're on Interstate 69E going north here, and we want to show you the map as we're approaching the park. The right hand side of the map is the main part of the park that's where you're going to go to check in the left hand side over there is called lakeside um, that's where our understanding is most of the thousand trail sites are you'll see we've got construction over here this is exit 29a where gps tells everybody to get off for the park but it's closed simply go over the bridge go to, to exit 29b which will be coming up right here on the right and it will get you to both sections of the park very easily. It's actually more of a straight shot to the back side where we are. Yeah, it's much easier getting into the lake side from here. If we go into the left lane, that will make a left turn and go into the lakeside park. Instead, we're going to make the right turn here, we're gonna take you into the, the big section of the park where you'll come to check in. And using your GPS, the Grace, uh, I believe it's Grace Avenue address. Gracie, I think. Yeah, this is it right here. So if you have that address and that's what you're using, it will bring you into the park for check-in. It is gated. The gate access codes when we were there were different on the two sides. Um, so we talked to them a couple of days before we got there. Their office is closed on Saturday and Sunday. So be prepared. I called and they gave me the gate code so we could get in to get our paperwork. And we're gonna take you straight back like this is the first time you've come into the park and you're checking in. So come straight back. Um, come straight back the boulevard, you go just a short ways. Now it was after Halloween a long ways when we were there. It was Thanksgiving time actually when we were staying here. They still had some Halloween decorations. There was some Christmas going up. So it was just festive all the way around. <laughs> You'll see this big building. You'll want to hang a left right here because that canopy that sticks out there is registration and that mailbox is where you'll get your after hours paperwork. It was very handy. This is what it looks like inside their office. And we're gonna come just down past this building and we're going to show you this section because there are tons of amenities and it's open for everybody. There's a one outdoor pickleball court there are a lot of shuffleboard courts and there's shade provided on both sides. Horseshoes. Beautiful pool and spa. Yeah, it is pretty. Indoor pickleball, which in the heat in the summer would be great. Or even the cold in the winter. Mm -hmm beautiful big recreation activity room. They even have a Margaritaville back there. I only saw two things on the menu and that was margaritas and pina coladas. <laughs> so I have an idea at least. Yeah. <laughs> right behind that is the mail room. If you're staying here for a month or more, you can have access to a mailbox. One of the largest <laughs> RV laundry facilities I have That's ever seen. That's pretty amazing. Yes. Yeah. 
There's the woodworking shop. It was closed when we were filming, but there is a nice card room. There's also, uh, this is the activity center. There is a uh, pastor and church on premises, the library. Again, everything was really big and really nicely organized. This was the billiards room. Again, it was huge. How fun is that? Yeah. This is their fitness center. Again, one of the biggest ones I have seen in a park. As you go down the hallway, you'll see all these watercolors. I love that. And right through this door, they have what two what they call classrooms. This was classroom number two. The lights are going to come on by themselves. But uh, this is where they do their watercolor classes. That is so cool. And just down the hallway, there's water or there's classroom one. I'm thinking musical chairs might have been what was being <laughs> taught in there. I'm not real sure. <laughs> Just down past that main building, you'll come to this, which is the Friendship Hall. It was locked while we were there, but they do have a kitchen in there. They have uh, activity area. I love the, the tropical vibe. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're just coming in to check in, you'll want to do what we just did. Come right down past there, make a right. When you get right up here to this next corner where that truck is turning, you want to make another right. A right at the next corner and it'll take you right back out the front gate if you're staying over in Lakeside. But I'm going to take you on back here just to show you this side of the park is mostly permanent. Uh, either park models. Yeah. Back here there's a row of campsites. To the right is a dog park. So I'm going to come over here and show you these because these are pull-through RV spots and I'll show you these on our way out of this side. I don't know if you're camping with uh, Thousand Trails or Trails Collection if these sites are available to you or not but they're nice sites and I, I did want to show you they all got their palm trees yeah. uh, and they are extremely long pull-through sites some of the, the nicest, levelest, longest pull-throughs I've seen. And there's either two or three rows going down through there uh, that are pull-throughs. We're still a little early for the winter crowd, as you can tell. Yeah, this was shot just before Thanksgiving. And in the last couple of days, we've seen a lot of people arriving and I'm sure once Thanksgiving is over going into the week following yeah. the park will really start to fill up. Yeah. These are Encore parks so depending upon your your membership you may have a 60 day or a 90 day booking window. Uh, we had a 90 day and it was a little bit tough. We had to uh, go through the call center with Thousand Trails a couple of times for them to get the reservations booked for us and uh, uh, to get three week stays was a little bit tough. We had to switch parks a couple of times from where we thought we were going to be to a different one. But the nice thing is within 30 minutes of each other, I think there's nine Encore yeah. parks down here. So if you can't get into one, there's another one and they're all, from what we've seen so far, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming from those pull through sites. We're coming back over here to the main road. We're going to make a right up here at this next corner and that'll take us right back out the, the security gate that we came in. And we're going to take you then over to the lakeside park. Our understanding this is more of the transient camping is over on the lakeside property. Uh, this is not like a lot of the parks that we've been into. They have two sections that one has all the amenities and the other one is just basic camping. Because when you go over to Lakeside, 
it's got its own set of amenities. Yeah, it does. So uh, it's smaller. There are less spaces on that side, so the amenities are a little bit smaller. But you don't lose out on anything. No. And you have access it's, it's to both. The tra it's the trade-off for that lake, being yes. on the lake side, yes. Okay, so this is the road where we first came into the park. We're going to hang a right. And right there on the left is where that road would have come in had we went straight. We'd made a left there and followed just the same way. But if you do make reservations and you do stay and they tell you your site's on the lakeside, make sure you get both gate codes. That's right. If you're staying on lakeside, those are where the dumpsters are for the lakeside, right as you come in. And you'll see there's another big activity center on this side. Those are, I believe it's Patonk. There's, yeah, there's, I don't know how to pronounce there's it either. six of those courts right there. This is their pool and spa. Again, very nice, a little smaller than the other side, but also a little less busy. Mm -hmm. When you go into uh, the activity center on this side, there's one big activity room. And there's, I believe, three smaller rooms. There's also a library in here, and it had an activity going on when I was there. I wasn't able to film it. I love how clean everything is. Mm -hmm. There are restrooms in that building. There's restrooms back on the pool side with showers. And it doesn't show on the map, but there's another bathhouse that we'll show you as we go along. They keep this place spotless. And they keep it very well mowed and trimmed and the the grass and everything in the in the sites are really, really nice. Some are grass sites, some are grass beside a full-length uh, concrete patio, and some are paved. This building right up here, it shows on the map that the building is there. It shows that it has a fitness center, which it does. Again, not as large as the other side, but still as nice as most parks have. Yeah. The laundry is four machines, washing, four drying. Those are in the front of that building. What it doesn't show on the map is this. There's a men's and ladies shower house attached to the back of this. Spotless, yeah. clean, so nice. And every time you went in there, you, it looked like it had just been serviced has a door that opens to the outside as well as doors that open into the fitness center. One of our favorite things about being over on the lakeside was the lake, which is right there beyond that fitness center. It is full of all different kinds of water birds. Yeah. We've seen pelicans, we've seen egrets. There, It's full of these uh, black bellied whispering ducks <laughs> bright orange bills they are beautiful and they do not sound anything at all like a duck in fact during the ending you'll hear them come back in again i'm sure they sound like bats mm -hmm. but all different kinds of those big spoon bills out there we I mean, saw sandpipers mm -hmm. little baby ones yeah it's been a lot of fun and you come over every day these birds these ducks are the only ones that are consistently there. The rest of them come and go. Mm -hmm. There are a few park models on this side, but a handful. There's not many. Yeah. Most of the sites are transient spaces over on this side. Now you'll see the sites over here along the right. Those are a, a paved site that are, is wide enough for your RV and a car. And uh, we had one of those sites. In 
fact, you'll see our site coming up right here. And I wouldn't call them super generous in the space between no. you, but it's adequate. Yeah, it's, it's not comfortable. Bad. <clears throat> so this is our campsite and we've got the car in kind of close there to keep it off of the grass. There's bunnies. Yes, there are <laughs> all kinds of nature. And that's what it looks like down across the sites. Going up the business side, the hookups are all to the back of the sites. I think throughout the entire park they're set up that way. So I did need an extra run of sewer hose. One length of water hose was fine. And the box was 30 and 50 amp both. Well, Kathy, what did you think about our stay at the Encore Sunshine RV Resort in Harlingen, Texas? This is great. I really do like this place. It's a really nice park. The amenities are fantastic. People, again, extremely friendly. We've seen a lot of our neighbors from the north, a lot of Canadian license plates here. So you do get the mixture of a little bit of the French language and the Spanish language and the English language right. all mixed in in one park. And when we first came into this site, even though we're staying as a Thousand Trails Encore member, we were told for 21 days, three weeks here, it was going to be over $900. Yeah. And that's like double the amount of a camping camp. That's right. <laughs> so you know where we're going. That's right. You need to call our friends Warren and Sharon Lewis and tell them, I want to Stay in nice warm places in the winter That's right. and I don't want to break the bank doing it. The perfect opportunity. That's why we're staying in South Texas this winter. We're staying for free all winter. And it's beautiful. It is. Yeah. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, leave us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, we're going to put a button up here on the screen. Tap that and ring the notification bell and you'll know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon.